Right this very moment, there is a genus of jellyfish floating around the waters of the world, actively cheating death, and even reversing the direction of its life. This sounds like something straight out of science fiction, or possibly just a made up factoid. However, it's 100% true. Could this little hydrozone hold the key to eternal life for us humans? Something no larger than your fingernail. To unlock this mystery, we first need to go right back to the start and look at how jellyfish enter into this world. Much like with you and I, it involves sperm cells and an egg. These are released by the jellyfish into the open water to become fertilized, and then once fertilized, from that you get a free swimming larva of sorts. The persistent oceanic currents that exist in the world's waters carry the larva around until it happens to find a surface to establish itself. When settled and firmly attached to its new home, it will kick back for a length of time to mature into a polyp, which will then eventually bud off into a mature, young jellyfish. An adult jellyfish is known as a medusa, obviously due to the appearance of a jellyfish being so gangly, much like the snake-haired woman, Medusa. So now that you're fully aware of how jellyfish enter this world, how does the immortal jellyfish find ways never to leave it? The scientific name for this jellyfish in question is Toretopsis dornai. When the medusa of this species is physically damaged or experiences stresses such as starvation, instead of dying, it shrinks in on itself, reabsorbing its tentacles and thus losing the ability to swim. Now, you'd maybe think that this sounds like dying, or possibly seeming as if the hydrozone would be in a spot of trouble. However, it then settles on the sea floor as a kind of blob-like cyst, silently decaying. But, remarkably so, this small blob of jellyfied matter develops into a new polyp, the jellyfish's previous life stage that we spoke about earlier. This has been likened to that of a butterfly, which, instead of dying, would be able to transform back into a caterpillar, and then metamorphose into an adult butterfly once again. Or, to make things even more relatable, it's similar to you getting to your early teens, finding yourself stressed with school or something along those lines, and reversing your age back to being a baby. Now, that really would raise some eyebrows. The process behind the jellyfish's remarkable transformation is called transdifferentiation, and it's extremely rare to find anywhere in nature. To keep things simple, from now on I will refer to the medusa stage of a jellyfish as the adult, and the polyp as the pre-adult stage. Cells from the adult jellyfish and the cells from the pre-adult jellyfish are very different. Transdifferentiation reprograms the adult jellyfish's specialized cells to become specialized pre-adult cells, allowing the jellyfish to regrow themselves in an entirely different body plan. They can then mature from this stage as normal, producing new genetically identical adult versions of itself. This cycle can be repeated over and over again, essentially rendering the tiny hydrozone as immortal. That is, of course, if it's not eaten by something else. The weird thing is though, if that didn't sound weird enough, every cell contains all the information necessary to build a new whole organism, but only parts of this information is actually used once the cell becomes differentiated. Scientists are asking, what is the molecular mechanism that allows the resetting of information across all cells, leading to ontology reversal? The genome of Turritopis dornai is being investigated and decoded, and this will bridge the step towards an immortality switch. At present, this regeneration process has now been found in around five species of jellyfish. But what does this mean for us, for us humans? 
Firstly, scientists believe that the study of transdifferentiation could help scientists find new ways to repair or regenerate damaged tissue. This could be something as simple as maybe scar tissue on the skin. However, there is something far more profound at play. One of the growing causes of death in our world is the degeneration of the brain. The act of transdifferentiation provides an alternative strategy for regenerative medicine and disease modelling. In particular, it's thought that the transdifferentiation of somatic cells can really help people with Alzheimer's or MS. We don't yet fully understand how this curious little hydrozone manages to pull off its death-defying stunt, and we are trying to apply it to our human existence. If one day we arrive at a point where we can halt or even reverse the aging process in humans, what kind of laws or rules will we have based around it? Will you need to be a certain age to access such a thing? Will there be a cap on how many people are allowed to use it, considering the global human population is growing? Would you even want to live for a hyper-extended amount of time, maybe even immortally so? Whatever we humans do, this jellyfish, this hydrozone, is going to continuously float around the oceans of the world, seemingly defying death. Now that's pretty cool.